Sapphire has updated their RX 470 cards and have changed the memory. They've changed from Hynix memory to Alpida memory. And it's important to remember that you cannot use the downloaded ROMs for the Hynix memory, 470s and 480, 4G cards, that have Alpida memory. So to check that, what you want to do is you want to open GPU Z. And you'll see my top GPU Z here is actually from a 484G, but never mind that. It'll be the same for the 474G. It says Alpida in memory type, GDDR5 Alpida. We can see in the bottom GPU Z that it's using GDDR5 Hynix. So this is the original Nitro that came out, 470, and this is an updated uh, Nitro 480 or 474G card. I've opened up both the Alpida BIOS in the top Polaris BIOS editor and the Hynix BIOS in the bottom Polaris BIOS editor. We can see that the vendor ID and device IDs have changed. So you do not want to flash one with the other. Do not mix them up. And we can see that the timings have changed. The timings on the Hynix are 400, 800, 900, 1000, 1125. On the Alpida, it's huge values on 1601. You can see that the numbers are totally different. 2000, 17, 15, 17, 429, 8000, 7000, 6000, 6000. So these numbers are totally different. And you cannot edit the Alpida. BIOS in Polaris BIOS editor as of yet. And that might change in the future. It might not. If you want to edit your Alpida BIOS, you're going to have to use a hex editor and edit it like that. So just please check and make sure that you have the Hynix memory before you edit or flash your cards with any downloaded BIOSes or any edited BIOSes. Here is the Alpida BIOS opened up in a hex editor. And again, you're going to have to edit it through the hex editor and I won't be going over that. So if you want to change your BIOS, that's what you're going to have to do. Do not use Polaris BIOS Editor, and do not flash an Alpita card with a Hynix card BIOS. So if you do want an RX 470 that still has Hynix memory and that you can use with Polaris BIOS Editor, I would recommend going with an FXX card. Uh, the Black Edition is probably the best one. It also has LED uh, light. You can also get the triple X. Uh, the clock's just a little bit slower on the triple X. 1226 versus 1256. Uh, otherwise, the Asus is a very high quality, good card that you can get. The Asus Strix. It also uses Hynix memory. And I don't, I haven't found any, um, anyone saying that they've changed from Hynix memory to anything else. Now, the cards I would not get would be the Gigabyte, Gigabyte RX 470 or 480, or the Power Color cards. And the reason is, is they've been using lower quality MOSFETs. Um, the cards may get hotter, they won't overclock as well. And just, they're worse quality even than the reference cards. Um, so I would stay away from these two cards, and I would go with either one of these two cards. Personally, I'd go with the XFX card. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.